What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, what we're going to be doing is opening up some packs. We've got some awesome packs in the game right now. There's this Football Outsiders Julius Peppers that is in the game still for 24 hours. We can still pull this thing. Um, the Team of the Year packs and bundles are available. So I'm going to be looking for that. And then, of course, there are three new legends in the game as well. Uh, so definitely going to be looking forward to those. Trying to get that Chris Carter. That's the one that I really want for some reason. I don't know why. I don't even know if it's the, the most valuable one. All I know is that when I was growing up in Minnesota, Chris Carter was the man here. The dude was making tiptoe catches and actually making the Vikings a competitive team in the 90s, back when they were pretty much trash other than him. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping for a Chris Carter, but we'll see what happens in this Team of the Year pack opening video. Um, guys, I am going to open up the bundle today. As you can see on the screen, I do have enough points to be able to do that today. So we are going to do that. Um, let's take a look here and see what these will actually contain. Uh, the individual team of the year packs contain one team of the year item, one team of the week player each, and then two team of the week collectibles. Uh, and then you also get six gold players or better. So again, it could be a variety of different things. Um, I don't think I've actually seen anybody pull any of the legends yet, but that's not to say that they're not possible to pull in this pack. Uh, I still think that they are. I think that it would mention it specifically if they weren't. So uh, excited for that. Hopefully we get something good. Uh, I really like the, the look of these Team of the Year packs for some reason too. I know it's just like the, the text basically on a, on a plain background, but I really like that color for some reason. It stands out a lot. It's kind of cool. But uh, five Team of the Year pack bundle will contain five, five Team of the Year packs, and the, of course, and then one bundle topper that guarantees one of the Team of the Year players. Now, all of the Team of the Year players are going for over 50,000 coins at this point in time. So this is a pretty decent uh, bundle topper, I have to say as compared to you know the other ones where you get a seven badge pack or something like that and we all know what you usually get in those badge packs so let's take a look and see what we get in this thing 4500 points five packs pretty nervous for it but we'll see what we can get here i'm gonna save that topper for the very end all right let's get things started so first thing we get is von miller doing a hilarious dance uh fourth quarter sack item uh this is a collectible don't have any idea what these collectibles are going for i'm imagining not very much at this point um we do get the player plays of the year brent grimes the one-handed interception um eric decker gold week 14 safety collectible Corey graham sharice wright antonio gates road to the playoffs okay Marquise Pouncey, like that. Luke Wilson, Rising Star. Now, I will tell you, if I get two of these Rising Star Luke Wilsons, I am absolutely going to do that set. He is an absolute beast. And then we get Team of the Week, Dan Williams, 85 overall. Let's take a look at his strength real quickly. Okay, 95 strength, that's pretty solid. And then we need Power Move and Block Shedding, as you guys know, or, or Finesse Move, but he's got Power Move, I'm sure. Uh, 93 Power Move and 94 Block Shed. So he is actually pretty damn beastly. Um, I want to compare him, actually, if I can. Uh, no, I can't compare him, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I can. Let's see here. I want to compare him to my depth Vince Wilfork real quickly here. So, he's stronger, has the same block shed, and then he only has one fewer for power moves. So, uh, they're about identical items, to be honest, but he's 12 speed faster. So, I uh, probably like him a little bit better, to be honest with you. I, I don't see why I would uh, stick with Vince Wilfork. Uh, obviously, I'm going to take a look and see what Dan Williams is selling for, but if he's selling for something... Uh, cheap then I'm probably going to keep him and keep him as a depth defensive tackle on my roster So that's a decent opening pack nothing super spectacular out of that one uh, And dang it. I always do that to myself I always close out of the thing rather than just pressing square It's like a, a thing that I just I don't know I, I just don't have it in my mindset to not do that. So uh, we still got that quick sell pack I'm gonna open that probably uh, oh crap. We opened up the team of the year topper first. What do we get though? Oh, it's Travis Frederick. Oh, no, I don't think Travis Frederick's going for a whole lot uh, yeah, about 60,000 it looks like. So, uh, at least we got an upgrade at center, though, if I want to use him. I, gosh, I wish I would have saved him for the end. I'm such a noob at opening packs for some reason, I guess. Uh, but we got the, uh, the team of the year, Travis Frederick. So that's pretty damn exciting. 93 strength. Uh, let's take a look and see what he's got for run block and pass block. 92 for a pass block and 98 for a run block. That is monstrous. Gotta love that. Uh, impact block, 92. All those things, the run block strength footwork, pass block strength footwork, none of that stuff matters as we know. Um, so yeah, pretty good item overall. I'm going to see what he's selling for at the end of the video. Um, probably won't do it on video, but 
from what I saw, he was going for about 60,000 coins. So that should be, uh, I mean, it's a decent pull. It's not as bad as it could have been, but it's not one of the top guys either. So a little bit disappointed there, but at least we got something decent. Uh, Alex Boone starting things off here. The right guard, Mike Jenkins, Corey Redding, Jarris Wright. Okay, a week nine collectible and a week 11 collectible. Antonio Brown kick. That might be the best picture on a game or on a card in this game right now. Look at that. He's just giving him the big boot, the Kevin Ash big boot right to the face. I love it. Henry Hanoski. Michael Bennett. There we go. A football outsiders. Michael Bennett. That is a beast pull right there. Uh, I, I'm not sure what he's going for right now, but I do know that elite football outsiders are usually a good thing. Very happy to get that. That is that is a nice pull, I have to say. 92 strength, 83 speed, 90 for acceleration. Let's see what he's got here. 94 tackling, power move, finesse move. 95 power move. That is monster. 93 for, for a block shed. And yeah, so very, very happy to pull that item. Um, that is a nice pull. Very happy about it. Danny Trevathan. So that was a, that was definitely a solid uh, pack opening there. I'm not sure again what these are going for. I'm assuming that they're going for somewhere between 10 to 20 thousand. They were going for 20 thousand at the beginning, but I know that they're not going for quite as much anymore. So all right, we'll pull, we'll open up the third one here, and we get week seven winning tackles. All right, and Stephen Paya, strip sack from week one. Another Brent Grimes one-handed interception. Brandon Browner, Jabal Sheard. Jeremy Hill, Ryan Wendell, Fred Davis, and Captain Munnerlin. All right, so not a great pack here. Um, again, not sure what these are going for here, but uh, nothing really special outside of that in this pack. Unfortunately, let's rip open the fourth one. And we've still got one more after this. We get an Anquan Bolden. Now, I'm pretty sure Anquan Bolden's one of the better run blockers, if I remember correctly. Let me just go double check and make sure that I'm right on that. Uh, did I already pass it? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm such a noob. Yeah, there it is. Okay, 54. Never mind. So that's not as good as I was expecting. Uh, last year, if I remember correctly, he had some beastly cards when it came to blocking. I don't know why they dropped him so much. So there we go. We get a second Luke Wilson. I will be doing that set. So you guys will probably be seeing rising star Luke Wilson at some point on my team. Probably going to be combining him with Gronkowski or I don't know. I'm not sure. I might get rid of Gronkowski, but I've got a couple other players that I want to get uh, in there at tight end as well. I've got a, I've got just like depth on depth at tight end because that's my position as you guys know. Spam it to the tight end. That's what you like to do. Week four, 22 yard touchdown pass by Aaron Rodgers for a collectible. Uh, okay, there's a beast, uh, a Marshawn Lynch plays of the year, team collectible, and then uh, first half touchdowns. So, all right, so we got, uh, I don't know, nothing real great out of this, but that Luke Wilson is going to be fun to play with because when you combine him, he does get that 92 speed. So that is pretty awesome. Very, very happy about that. And this is our final pack of the day, guys. Hopefully we get something good out of this one. And Luke Wilson, another rising star, so I'll probably be selling that one. J.J. Watt for our uh, plays of the year. Week 9, 9 yard, or uh, what is that? Uh, week 6, 9 yard touchdown. Richie Incognito, Malcolm Jenkins, Alan Hearns, Antoine Kaysen, and a week 1 strip sack. I think we already got that one. So, uh, not really anything great out of this pack. Uh, it's pretty much going to come down to whatever that Michael Bennett is going for, to be honest with you. Uh, so maybe let's double check here and see what this thing's going for at this point in time Interested in seeing it because I'm really uh, it's it's pretty much gonna be if that cards worth anything decent probably Anything over like 60,000. It's probably a good um, pack opening for me I was actually thinking about buying that Luke Keekley by the way the uh, 95 one because the market is so low right now If you guys are looking for any items go out there and uh, pick up uh, the elite items that you're looking for because for whatever reason the price on those things is super cheap right now So all right, let's see here. Ah, dang it that Michael Bennett's going for super cheap Unfortunately, I was excited because I thought it was going for a lot more But it's going for let's see here. The most recent sale was 21,000. So damn that sucks I thought this was going for a lot more than it is but uh, still a decent card though I might keep him on my team just because he's not going for a whole lot but uh, overall, we'll have to see what we got as far as the collectibles, see if there was anything decent in those. I'm expecting there not to be much, but um, overall, you know, a decent pack opening. Probably not worth the money as far as uh, price value and stuff goes, but we still got some decent items out of here. We're going to be putting those uh, collectibles potentially into a set and see what we can get out of that. But 
With that being said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button as well. It's how we grow this channel. I would greatly appreciate all the subscriptions, all the likes on the videos. And comment below too. Let me know what you guys get in your uh, Team of the Year packs. If you're pulling anything good, let me know especially if you got any of those legends. Because if you did, you might see me pulling another one of those bundles. We might do it. We'll see. Not promising anything by any means, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I want to see what you guys are getting in your packs before I go ahead and do that. So thank you again for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.